Manny Norte! Yep, yep, yep. Manny Norte, the name you can trust right here. Kiss HQ. We're speaking with Legacy and Ben J, aka the New Boys. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, What's up, man? Yeah, What's I'm good. How you feeling? We chilling, man. We in, over here on the UK. What's happening? Yeah, we're good. We're it's good. Popping. We're good. Yeah. All right, so so the new boys, right? Because they're new. Yeah. So what happens in 10 years' time? I mean, we're still going to be new. Like, we travel a lot, man. So everywhere we go, we tend to be the new boys there into that city. So right. the girls be on it and all. So, I mean, <laughs> we always t- tend to make new music and whatnot. So new boys, that's all right, what it is. All right, cool, cool. So you coming from L.A.? Yeah. I mean, well, we came from came from a lot of places. Right. Yeah, we're from L.A. Uh-huh, okay, that's okay, what okay. That's what So what's your story? Where did you guys meet? The talk is you were enemies. I don't know if that's true or not, or what's the story? Nah, um, a long time ago, I got into a fight. Um, He re- happened to record it. What'd you do? Put up a wall stuff? I mean, I just seen him <laughs> fighting, so I was like, oh, mm. Pulled you out know. my phone real yeah. quick. Did yeah. you win? Did you win? Did you win? Yeah, of course I won. I dropped dude <laughs> all day. But nah, yeah. um, I got told that if he got um um if he was found with the fight on his phone, right, I can get kicked out the school district. So I went search for him with the homies and whatnot. My right. whole mindset was like throw the phone over the roof and d- stump it out. But I still wanted to see the fight first. Right. So when I finally found him, I asked him. I was like, Yo, you got the fight on your phone? Whatever, whatever. Who? I didn't even know who he was. But he was like, Yeah, I was with this girl last night. I was showing. Um, showing her the fighter, and she, yeah. I think she deleted it. I'm like, oh, dog, yeah. for real. So then, so you, she deleted the thing. So what happened then? So how did you two connect? Yeah, we ended up uh, having the same class together like two months later, and um, we just became cool. We was both doing music at the time, and right. um, yeah, we was just. Was he dressing the same, or would you talk? I mean, um, every- like back then we wore baggy clothes. Like when we, we wore, met, yeah, we, we were like triple X, like pro club t shirts and like real big baggy pants and Air Force One. <laughs> rag, you know, that whole, that whole baggy. So now it's, it's just changed to skinny jeans and what vans and everything. You know, as times change, you know, um, our whole school was different. Like we had 80s day, and after 80s day, I guess that whole style of what we thought the 80s looked like, we came back like, man, this, this is tight. We should just wear like bright colors and whatnot all day long. Like just thinking that that's how the 80s was. But when we got, like, famous and, like, stepped into the industry, not knowing, like, nobody else does this, but, like, people in California, the teenagers, like, we thought everybody did it, but that was just us. And we got a lot of criticism for it and all, too. Okay. So you called yourself the Swagger Boys before the New Boys? Like a class, like a class period. And then after that, we was just like, man, I don't think this is going to work. You feel <laughs> me? That, that word swag is going to get old. Nobody's going to use it. We're going to be called the Swagger Boys, not right. even... Like nothing, but I mean, new boys stood out, and you know that's like the center of attention when a new boy or a new girl come to school or whatever, and you talk about them the first week. Yeah. yeah. So okay, <clears throat> so the jerk movement. How did you start that? Because it just took off in a big way, right? Well, yeah, we just um we put the song on YouTube, and my um, god, it went crazy. Yeah, man, yeah. people started uploading videos and stuff, and um. We was telling them, like, send us videos so we can mm. put it on our MySpace page. Right. And everyone kept making videos. And then it went from, like, 10 videos on our page to 50 to hundreds and to thousands of videos just all over the internet, you so, know? So were you dancing before? You was dancers before you was nah, rapping? Nah, we're we not even dancers, dog. Like, we um, we do a couple moves, you know, like, yeah. the new moves, like the Dougie. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, We did the jerk, you know. I mean, Cat Daddy, it's whatever, we, but we're not dancers. No, but no, no, but you woke up and thought, okay, let's make up a dance. Was that how it was? I need to know exactly. Nah, the dance was already out. It was an L.A. based dance around. Like it started from a gang, right? A gang bang, um, gang. So um, the teenagers over the years just seen it, started swagging it out, making it like just their own and whatnot. Mm. And we seen that, and we started learning it on YouTube. We um made the song about it, and it got big. So you recorded it in school? Did you have school studios or you had studio facilities? Nah, we Because you was young, right? Yeah, we built a studio in our house. Like, oh, really? We used to sell candy at school, try to, like, get money. Like, we used to lose, like, some money, so we used to have to hustle harder to, like, get some dollars to buy the studio equipment. We used to, like, find... You sold candy? Yeah. How much money are you making in a day after selling candy? Man, like two hundred. Two hundred dollars? Don't lie. No, nah, nah. we was making like two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars selling candy. I had a box. No he had a bo- I had a box. He had a box. I oh, make a hundred. He make a hundred. It was Skittles. We was selling Skittles. A uh, Starburst. Pack. It was. What's every- in the Skittles? Gold dust. What? <laughs> no, nah, we uh, was selling everything for a dollar. But yeah. like when we both put our money together at the end of the day, we had like two hundred dollars. So you, how much did you get them for the Skittles? Huh? I need to see if I can make some money doing this. Hey, sometimes the boxes like, was like thirty. The boxes was like thirty dollars, and we make so like one packet will be like fifty dollars off of a box. Wow, wow, wow! So wow, we wow. come up on yeah. twenty every time. <laughs> yeah. Making money from sweets. I yeah. remember. I remember times when I was broke and I used to ask Dylan. 
Wow. I'd steal the candy. The jump movement, it took the internet by storm, right? Yeah, man. Virally, it was crazy, man. That's where it first started taking off. So we're talking 60, 60 million? Yeah, oh, man. The, the 60 views? million hits? Yeah, yeah man. That's just on that one, like, you know, just on your jerk itself, man. It, 60 million views. And there was still a bunch of other videos that got taken down. Those had like 50 million views just what? in the first year. Right. So yeah, it was crazy. So what's the story now? So you got the second album? Yeah. Well, so, we about to drop the second album, May 10th. Right? Yeah. Um, How you feeling about that? We feel good, man. We're so, like, this album is so different from the first one. Like, we went hard. Like, we had so much time to um, sit in the studio and record. Mm. We had um, a lot of professional beats from um, professional bigger producers and whatnot. I saw we, Khalil's in there. Was, yeah, you yeah. seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had bigger um, collabs, like different um, pro, um, artists, whatever. Mm. Got them on the track with us. It was popping. This album is good. Okay, okay. Well done. Okay. Well put. So the first single is called what? Backseat. Is that the video with the classic Mercedes in there? Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, that actually drops May 9th out here in the uh-huh. UK. Yeah, so everybody, May 9th, backseat, go get it. Wow, I'm loving that. Manny Norte! 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 Norte!